Hello, welcome back. Now, in a previous video, we discussed about uh, enterprise system implementation methods, approaches, uh, agile ones, traditional ones, transition approaches, adaptation approaches, and so on. Now, in this video series, we'll focus on project management, about how we can manage enterprise information system projects. But first, we need to clarify some terms like project management. What is project management in the first place anyway? Now, project management is the thing or are the things that would uh, prevent this situation. This situation as depicted here. Okay, joke aside, what is project management? Or even before that, what is project? Now, project is a temporary initiative undertaken to create a unique product or service. Now, mind you, the words temporary and unique. So, a project must have a definite beginning and a definite end, uh, unlike operations, for instance, which is which is continuous and produce something that is that is unique. Huh? And program is, is essentially a collection of related projects uh, managed in a coordinated way. Um, for instance, if you are uh, implementing an enterprise uh, system in a large uh, company or large enterprise itself, then we can define an enterprise implementation program where each module implementation uh, can be structured as a project in its own. So you will have a program manager and a number of project managers responsible for the implementation of a particular module, for instance. Mind you that, in this case, you also have a, a, a set of coordination activities that belong to the program itself, but not to the project. Huh? So in a program, not everything that you do belongs to a particular project. It's, there are also things that are related to the program itself. Okay, what is project management indeed? Project management, uh, an official definition could be this, applying knowledge, tools, techniques to, produce, uh, to project activities in order to meet project, uh, project requirements. Uh, my informal definition would be uh, the art of defining and controlling the project in this triangular space not representing uh, a uh, time, cost, scope, quality. So it's the act of balancing the time, cost, scope, quality or product scope quality, in fact. Um, in real projects, you, we usually um, fix one or two of these, uh, these, these dimensions uh, I mean, you usually have a strict budget or, or, a, or a deadline and then you negotiate the scope, uh, hopefully not the quality. So that is, uh, that's how you kind of uh, manage the project in that sense. Now, fortunately, there are some standards or, or methodologies that help us in or guide us in managing our projects. And the most important ones are listed here particularly Project Management uh, Institute's uh, PM book, uh, Project Management's Body of Knowledge, has gained a lot of attention uh, currently in, in practice. Prince2 was um, also common in Europe, but I think it has lost some rounds here. PMI is dominating the market route now. Um, in fact, if you'd like to work as a project manager in practice, in business, you usually go through some trainings, PM, PMI trainings and examinations based on the PM book uh, to, 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 be, uh, to become a certified project manager. And this obviously uh, not only ensures that you know sufficiently enough about project management, but also actually help you uh, in, in some projects. So what do we have in the remaining uh, part of this video series? In the second module of this course, of this particular series, we'll talk about project management processes. Main project management processes, in fact, they're based on PM book. In the third module, we'll go over some concepts that, that you really have to know about project planning. Fourth one, we'll see 
how a typical project organization uh, looks like in an enterprise system implementation projects. Next, we will see how typical, uh, discuss some typical ex uh, reasons why IS projects fail. Uh, well, then we'll briefly discuss about how we can manage the change caused by enterprise, uh, enterprise system implementations. And finally, we'll see some best practices of project managers. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot to cover today. Um, okay, see you in the next video.